Jesus Christ, guys. Overtime is killing me, man. Every time I look at Sony Vegas, I'm like, okay, I'm going to narrate this battle today. I got to do it today. I'm going to summon enough energy to do it. But I end up procrastinating because of how much of my job is really taken away from me. Anyway, what is happening, guys? This is S4J finally fucking back again. Oh, you baby in the house, son. Going to make that immediate switch out into Gastronaut. It doesn't matter, man. I wash all threats away, man. What you doing, son? It doesn't even matter. Yo, all right. I trickle away the choice scarf. I cripple it, but hey, it's not like you're going anyway. It's not like you're gonna come back and switch in. I got that surprise fact that Hidden Power Grass. But under normal circumstances, Hidden Power Grass won't necessarily kill, but you know, I don't, I for one, don't like SpongeBob. Yes, I do not like SpongeBob. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like SpongeBob. So, you know, Gary could, um, could, could go, um, could go, uh, lose production. Yes. In other words, get, you know, uh, okay, whatever. Gash it on by the dust. You guys didn't get the joke. Anyway, in comes the Alakazam, right? And he's going to get off the immediate psychic damage output. Tells me that his choice spec, scary ass thing there with the spoons or whatever like that. What the hell is Alakazam anyway? Is it like a fox or like a, what is it? I think of Star Fox, but, um, uh, somebody, somebody leave a comment. Tell me what that is. Anyway, he's holding spoons, and I'm kind of hungry. And speaking of hungry, in comes a pot on just to sponge the physical hit. And, um, you know, that's not necessarily really good. But then, you know something? I have the U-turn. I got switch priority, so I go into my bomber snow. I was about to steal his joke. But, okay. But, um, yeah. It's going to go into the bomber snow, right? And, um, now I'm free to, um, Blizzard, but, you know, I think he's gonna switch out. I mean, it's a weather war, right? So I imagine that he might want to keep his sand for later on. He stays and goes for the stuff. Rock. I'm like, dang, man! Why the hell did you have to predict me like that, son? God! So I went to Rotom just knowing for what I was gonna die from the, uh, the weather, the weather, the weather hazards, right? And, um, now going to Fortress, I could potentially spin away his hazards, and then later on, set up hazards of my own, which is actually pretty great. Goes out and takes full advantage of my Fortress being in play, uh, being that I do have to stay in one turn and go for the Rapid Spin. And now have the Vault Switch, so he can't necessarily inflict any damage to anything that I want, potentially want to bring in to deal with Scissor, hence my Magnezone. So, if he goes for, like, Super Power or something like that, I'll be able to sponge it with Fortress and then switch out for, um, maximum output damage with my Magnezone! So he gets a plus two, right? As he switches out, I'm sorry, as I go out into my own magazine. Stay! <laughs> you ain't go nowhere, son. Say hello to my little refrigerator. My little refrigerator magnet, you know, because magnet zone is a magnet, so, you know, refrigerator magnet. Uh, oh, that was corny. Anyway, he's going to go for the bug bite, right? And um, here's where I learned that he's life warp. So this is actually pretty good, in my opinion, because I could, like, rack up life warp damage as well as weather damage here. He'll be taking 16%, uh, I believe. So as I, will, I won't be even taking anything, son, because I recovered that 6% with that leftovers. Yes! We taunt you up in here. Yes! Yes! So he goes to the bug bite, right? And I imagine the next turn he's gonna go for the bullet punch. He's like, alright, he's just gonna sub down again. <laughs> I got this fool, except not, son. I see right through you, son. I see like you I see right through you like foresight, son. What you thought you was, son? You thought you was ghost, son? You thought you you know, you're saying like it, it's a figure of speech seeing that you know I could see over what you were planning. It's uh, uh corny today anyway i'm just gonna finish this thing off with the discharge i don't have hidden power of fire if you guys are wondering it's like hey why the hell did you just go for the hidden power of fire and just be done with it there's no reason for you to sub down like that and yeah there was actually so it's gonna go for is it gonna go for the focus blast he's gonna finish off my magnet so um my magnet dies right and in comes the uh scissor right i'm I'm like, should I bring a scissor? I know this thing's choice specs. I don't know. I don't even know how much damage it would do to a scissor. It could probably potentially finish it off. I think he predicted me to go for the bullet punch, which is great in my opinion because I'm able to get off the uh, the U-turn, bring in my three dicks, and finish off the uh, the Drachi. But unfortunately, he's friggin' choice scarf. Oh wait, I said that a little bit too early. Wait, I gotta wait for it. Okay, unfortunately, he's friggin' choice scarf, man. Dang. F word. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna bring the fortress right, and um, now that I know he's short scarf locked onto um, my head, I'm just gonna take this time, set up hazards, set up hazards of my own, right? And I'm raising the hungry, hungry hippos, hungry, hungry hippos. How's the song go? Something <laughs> from Milton Bradley. Anyway, um, uh, 
Right, he's gonna go recover a little bit of HP, and I set up, I think I set up the rocks, right? He's gonna go for, go for the earthquake just to see what kind of spread I am, I guess. Not gonna do too much because I am a physical, bulky um, fortress as opposed to the special defensive fortress that people like to run. So one thing I do notice, I take note of, is that he's recovering HP into a wall that's never good. So now he's gonna switch out into uh, this thing, and I imagine since I do have a bomb of snow, Fortress and scissor left things that are like all friggin weak against fire types I cannot believe I have three Pokemon that are quad weak against fire type attacks I didn't even notice that shit when I made the team so I'm a little bit I'm more than scared right about now You know so I'm hoping that the fortress does lift the hit which it does get a fault switch into a bomb of snow Which I can use to get residual damage on that Jirachi hence the hail and then afterwards I can switch right back out into my um fortress as use fortress as sacrificial material while he um dies himself since that he does he can't necessarily take any more damage from the hail now look at his health now so uh fortress you did great Thank you very much. Thanks to the spikes and the stuff rock. You can't switch back in and um, hit me with another barrage of fire punches. So now with Jirachi out of my way, my main concern now with his team is the Alakazam that he has left over. And despite my Abomasol being the choice scarf, I know that timid Alakazam is still going to be able to outspeed the, uh, the uh, Abomasol and be able to get off a focus blast in order to finish it off. And that will mean that I'll have a harder time dealing with this hip pattern, right? He's going to go out to Gengar, go for the protect to see what I will lock myself into, protect. Potentially, I go for the bullet punch, right? He's gonna immediately switch out to um, Hippodon, which I kind of did predict, but then there's one thing, was one little flaw in his plan. The thing is, I'm not choice banded at all. I don't even have a choice on him. I am muscle banded. Now, I have the U turn and the bullet punch. I've been playing as if I was choice in some shape or form. So, I worked in my advantage here in this particular place, which is actually gonna force him to go for the roar as opposed to like go for the earthquake and or slack off and things like that, like he wanted to earlier on. So, now he's at no choice but to deal with the Obama Snow here because he can't he doesn't he doesn't have anything left over on his team to deal with a uh, choice a choice scarf blizzard so he can't switch into Gengar he can't switch into Alakazam he has no choice but to lose the weather war and um have his power on die into a blizzard so that was actually pretty great here I can imagine him going out to his Alakazam just to um, ensure that he has something that can outspeed the Obama Snow. like I said before he is gonna outspeed me and um Fortunately for him, he is going to hit his Focus Blast, and it's Choice back, so he's going to, of course, knock me out. So out goes my Bombasaur, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out into my Scissor now, just go for a barrage of bullet punches. He has Alakazam and he has Gengar's two things that don't necessarily like bullet punches from, like, Technician, Adamant, Boosted, you know, you, you know, you know the Jazz already, you know how it is, you know what time it is, man. So his his last Pokemon, the Gengar, so it looks like I have the game, despite him being, um, you know, being able to survive the hit thankfully because he is a uh a black sludge as opposed to having a life orb and also I made a mistake too because I have an item I'm supposed I'm supposed to be muscle banded which would uh, guarantee the kill but I'm not I noticed that I like I had like something I had some stupid ass item I think I had like a metronome that was actually a mistake but um I'm glad that uh you know I was able to finish off the uh, Gengar here that the Focus Blast coming from him wasn't able to finish off. He's going to protect just to stall me out a little bit more. It's useless in this point to keep protecting because you already lost the game at that point. I hate when people do that. So anyway, that was definitely a great game. Viewers, do not, 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 do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And I definitely had a lot of fun. Peace. What you doing?